Are you wondering what LTE stands for and why it's at the top of your phone instead of 5G? If so, this is the video for you since we're diving into what LTE is and how it's actually more important than what most people think. And we'll break down how in some cases it might be the better option. So let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the basics. What LTE stands for is long-term evolution. And back when it came out over a decade ago, it was a huge upgrade from 3G. Like if you tried watching this video over 3G, you'll pretty much be seeing nothing but buffering and pixelation. Think of 3G like driving through heavy traffic. It's clogged, it's slow, and you'll just wanna get it over with. On the other hand, LTE is like driving down a highway with multiple lanes where everything just moves a bit faster. Now, LTE is actually considered a version of 4G, but when it first came out, it didn't even meet the official 4G speed requirements. Over time, it got faster and more reliable. So when people talk about 4G now, they're basically talking about LTE. So even though 5G is available today and can give you much faster speeds, LTE still plays an important part in keeping phones connected. And in many ways, it acts like a safety net that can be there when 5G isn't. But if 5G is technically better, what kind of performance can you expect from LTE? Well, that really depends on a few things, your carrier, your location, and your signal strength. Like you probably expect if you have a weak signal, you'll run into more problems just like any other wireless network. But if it's good, you'll get fast downloads, smooth video calls, and no buffering when streaming music and movies in standard and high definition. Not only that, LTE also has an upgraded version called LTE+, Plus, which is sometimes called 4G+, Plus, that can boost speeds even more. So LTE should cover most of the things you need unless you're doing things that require even more data in a faster amount of time. This could be something like online gaming, for instance, where latency will affect your overall experience. In this case, 5G would likely handle that a bit better. Still, that too also depends on your signal strength. So let's talk a little bit more about speed and other differences between LTE and 5G. When it comes to speed, LTE typically gets between three and 100 megabits per second, depending on your signal strength and things like network congestion. 5G on average can hit between 100 to 300 megabits per second, and even more if the conditions are absolutely perfect. So yeah, 5G can be way faster, but speed isn't everything. One of its main weaknesses, at least today, is that 5G is not available everywhere. If you live in a big city, you probably have access to 5G and have seen it pop up on your phone. But in small towns and remote areas, LTE is likely what you'll get more often. But 5G coverage is still expanding to new areas. In the meantime, what can you do to make sure you're getting the best speeds? First, not all carriers have the same LTE and 5G coverage. So knowing which carrier works best in your area is a good first step. One thing you can try is heading to the Navi website to check your state's coverage map to see how different carriers compare where you live. And if your phone is a few years old already, upgrading to a newer device can help, since newer phones have better LTE and 5G technology. If you're thinking about upgrading your phone, Navi can help you out with our phone deal finder. By answering a few questions about what you're looking for, we'll help you compare all the best deals on the smartphone you want. And if you're looking for a new network, Navi's plan finder can help you there too. By using our plan finder, you can compare plans from all the top carriers so you can find the one that best fits your needs. Links to both will be in the description. All right, hopefully this shines some light on why your phone sometimes says LTE instead of 5G. If this helped you out, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're having other issues with your reception, check out these seven common problems and how to fix them. Talk to you next time.